Siti salva beatis optimorum a naius loquorat teadesse laetor. Hello everyone, I am Anaius and I am genuinely happy that you're watching. I, I got the idea for this video when I was reading uh, Catullus 17, which, which is written in a meter that I've never seen before, and so I thought that'd be a great opportunity for me to kind of show you how I handle that, how I learn a new meter when, I, when I'm preparing to recite a poem. So I've filmed myself studying that meter, like figuring out that meter, my steps, uh, that, so that vi the video is a little rougher than I would maybe normally want it to be, but I wanted you to see that actual learning process. So I'm going to cut away to that video for like about nine minutes or so, and then I'll come back and I'll tie this whole thing into the hand clapping video that I released or a few days before this one. So, incipiamo seguitor. All right, so I've set up my camera here so we can see the first few lines of this poem. And I'm going to mark the quantities that I know, and I'm going to put question marks where I don't know quantities. So I know this is a long syllable. This is a proper noun. I don't know what these two are. But I'm pretty sure these next two are short syllables. And then I know the rest of these on this line. That's pretty... No, no, that's long. Sorry. Ponte. And I know ludere. Ludere is a word that's in Catullus 2. So I got all but two syllables on this first line. I know this is also a long syllable. I don't know this one, which is unfortunate. I still don't have anything on that one. I know that's a long, and that's a short, and that's a short, that's a long. This is, this. there's a legion, so I'm just going to cross that out. This is short. This is long. At least it's long by position because of the S at the end over here. Uh, this is long. This is short. This is long. This is short, this is short, this is long, and this is short. Probably short. The last one, I don't know. Um, do I see any trends yet? I see the long syllable at the first of each of these. I see these two shorts. Long, short, long, long, short, long, short, short, long. So I actually see a pretty good trend, except I don't know what this... And I can probably guess that now that the second sy syllable of colonia is long, but I still don't know what the first syllable is. So now we go cruda. I know that, finally I know that word. I know that's long and that's short. That's long. These two are short. Equilum, it's a, you know, a standard uh, suffix that, you know, diminutive suffix. So this probably means little bridge. And there here's some more elision. So that's a long syllable. I don't know this one. This is long, this is long, this is short, this is long by position, this is short, I don't know this one, I don't know the rest of these for, for certain. So now this next line, I know this is long, I don't know this either, I don't think I really know that one. I know that's short, and that's short, and that's long. I don't think that, I don't think I know that one. This one, there's a elision here, and this is long by position. Uh, this, I believe I know, I mean, it means swamp, I think. And then I know that's short, long, and then short. So I'm gonna do one more. I know that, I mean, Tibby can be scanned a lot of different ways, but I, I have a feeling from what I've seen so far that it should be scanned long there, and then those are both short, long, short, long, and I know that's long because of the preposition X, and pause, then, uh, all right, so I've marked uh, five lines here, and, uh, and I've seen some patterns. The first syllable always seems to be long. The, to the best, my best guess, the second syllable is short. Although I, I would have to go to a dictionary to confirm, because these two both are short, but I'd have to go to a dictionary to confirm these other words that I don't know. And it's, you know, one thing about me, I, for some reason, the mental effort of doing something like this is less troublesome than the physical effort of getting out of my chair to go grab my dictionary. Uh, 
And then I see some pretty consistent patterns the rest of the way. The double, two shorts, long, short, long, long, short, long, short, short, long, long. And this last syllable, sometimes it's short, sometimes it's long. But it's pretty common in Latin poetry for the last syllable to be an either or, where you can do either short or long. It's our and caps is the, the term. And so I feel like I've got a pretty good suspicion about what the meter is. So I'm going to rewrite it now on another page. All right, so I'm going to take out a, so I took out a new sheet of paper. And I'm going to write that again a little cleaner with a little, maybe not quite so big in the beginning. Long, short, long, short, short, long, short, long, long, short, long, short, short, long, long. So now it all fits on the page. And so now that I've got this pretty good guess about the rhythm of each line, and it looks like they follow consistently this pattern, I want to take a look at how I would break this up. Uh, so uh, my first guess would be just to take some uh, standard syllable breaks and then, oh, so I don't like this because I don't like a, a trochee and an I am in the same meter. So I'm going to try a different approach now. Now one thing I'm noticing here is we've got these Double, these double shorts and this. So I noticed some similarity here. So here, long, short, long, short, short, long. Yeah, right here, sorry. Long, short, long, short, short, long. So it looks like there's some repetition there that, and some, you know, some symmetry in a sense. And so if I, if I put a break, I think right here, then I've got, yeah, this, both of these start with the same first six syllables, and then the, the end is a little bit different. And so now if I use that as a, as a break, then I can maybe put in some, uh, I'll make that a bit, I'll double that up just to make it clear where that break is. Then I've got a, a syllable break that looks good to me. Now I don't know if this is the correct syllable break yet because I have to read the poem and see if the words kind of fit this rhythm properly. Uh, but I, I've, I've just, by reading through a few lines, looking mark, marking the quantities, I've managed to come up with a, a hypothesis about what the meter of the poem is likely to be. There might also be some metric substitutions at some point along the way. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Like maybe sometimes double shorts get replaced with longs, or maybe sometimes these, you know, these individual shorts get replaced with longs, or maybe some of the longs get replaced with shorts sometimes. Uh, I'll have to read the poem to find that out. But this is how I, this is how I go about uh, marking the poem. And now I could, to get a feel for the rhythm, I could start clapping it. So this is as far as I can I can go, and I, but I feel pretty good about what I've done. And this is just from reading the syllables, and I didn't even have to know all the syllables. I could just kind of leave some question marks, and, and now I have some pretty good guesses about what's how long some of those syllables are. Like I'm guessing that colonia is a short, you know, colonia is like that. So now I've got a good sense. I can read through, and I can uh, and and keep working on this poem. So. In the end, you'll, you'll see, a, maybe in like, I don't know, maybe a month from now, you'll see a video of, uh, of me reciting this, this poem out loud. Okay, so I, 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 I've ended that clip, and I've come back, and I did a quick Google search, and I, you know, and I found out that, that I was right. This, this second approach is more or less the, is the correct meter, and it's, uh, it's apparently called Priapian meter. I guess after the god Priapus, um, I wonder if that'll show up in the meaning of the poem at all. And from if, if and I also learned that this this half here is called a glyconic, and this is called a theracratic. You probably don't need to memorize these terms, if, especially if you're you know. I, I'm not going to make any special effort to memorize them, but it turns out that yeah, I was I was able to just take these things and and learn them out and from from the words themselves. Uh, and I'd like to say at one at this point that a native Latin speaker probably would have had to do something like this too the first time they studied uh, this poem if they hadn't already been exposed to this meter. Maybe the meter is more common because this is the only one 
The only poem that Catullus writes in this meter, and I don't know if any other of the other famous Latin poets write in this meter at all. So a native Latin speaker, although they would they wouldn't have as many question marks over the, the the syllables that I put when I was when I was parsing it, they would still have to read a couple lines to say, oh, okay, here's the rhythm. So I, I, I don't want people to think that this is my recommended approach to reading Latin in general. This is just for understanding the meter of a poem that you're not familiar with yet. So that's, that's all I have to say on this. I'm back. So now that I've figured out the meter, uh, I like to repeat it over and over again. As I said in the hand clap, my first hand clapping video, I like to repeat that rhythm over and over again until I start feeling the, the urge to, to dance to it. You know? so, so let's do it. And I also felt like the video, that previous video, the clapping didn't come through too well. And so I wanted to take another stab to really make sure you, we all heard and felt the rhythm of those lines. And so, it, so we'll, we'll, I'll start by clapping it. Whoops. Back up a little bit. So this one is a, 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 a bit less even of a, of a line. It's, a, it's got, if you count the, the syllables correctly, it's 20, I believe it's 23 mora. Uh, but it's an odd number of mora, whereas the uh, dactylic hexameter has 12 mora, which is divisible by 4, and that's why it fits in 2-4 uh, times so well. And then uh, the hendeca syllab syllabic uh, meter is 18 mora, which is an even number. It doesn't quite fit any of the traditional time signatures in music, but it still has, a, it still has some regularity to it because it's an even number of mora. But an odd number of mora means you're always kind of shifting a little bit, and it, it's it probably not something you can dance to, even if you enjoy the sound of it. But we'll see what happens as I, as I do it now, switch to saying it out loud instead of clapping it. Ta ti ta ti ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ti ta 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 ti ta ti ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ti ta 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 ti ta ti ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ti ta ta. I guess I'm getting a little bit of the the goofy dance moves. So so I'll, I don't want to force you to watch too much of that, but I just wanted to give you a chance to to hear that that final result is to really internalize the rhythm. So gratias wobisago quia me ausculta wistis valete.